Hi, everyone. Welcome to morning prayer on Thursday morning, June 9th. Ugh, Thursday, Friday morning, June 9th. Uh, bright and early. I hope that you are up and at this morning and ready for a wonderful weekend. Um, today, my eighth grader is promoting to high school, and tomorrow, my high schooler is promoting to college. So there's a lot of things going on. All is well. I'm very thankful, very proud, and happy to pray with you about all these things. So the reading. The psalm appointed for the morning is Psalm 40, Psalm 40 and Psalm 54, 40 and 54. So we are in uh, right to Book of Common Prayer, which begins on page 80. So let's pray together, shall we? Thanks for coming. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Psalm 40, page 640 of your BCP. I waited patiently upon the Lord. He stooped to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the desolate pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon a high cliff and made my footing sure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are they who trust in the Lord. They do not resort to evil spirits or turn to false gods. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can be compared with you. Oh, that I could make them known and tell them. But they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering, you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Burnt offering and sin offering, you have not required. And so I said, behold, I come. In the roll of the book, it is written concerning me. I love to do your will, O my God. Your law is deep in my heart. I proclaimed righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips, and that, O Lord, you know. Your righteousness have I not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your deliverance. I have not concealed your love and faithfulness from the great congregation. You are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. Let your love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever, for innumerable troubles have crowded upon me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more in number than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them draw back and be disgraced who take pleasure in my misfortune. Let those who say, aha, and gloat over me be confounded because they are ashamed. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your salvation continually say, great is the Lord. Though I am poor and afflicted, the Lord will have regard for me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Do not tarry, O my God. And Psalm 54. Save me, O God, by your name. In your might, defend my cause. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For the arrogant have risen up against me, and the ruthless have sought my life, those who have no regard for God. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who sustains my life. Render evil to those who spy on me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will offer you a freewill sacrifice and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from every trouble, and my eye has seen the ruin of my foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, the eighth chapter, beginning at the 16th verse. But thanks be to God, who put into the heart of Titus the same earnest care I have for you. For he not only accepted our appeal, but being himself very earnest, he is going to you of his own accord. With him we are sending the brother who is famous among all the churches for his preaching of the gospel. And not only that, but he has been appointed by the churches to travel with us as we carry out this act of grace that is being ministered by us for the glory of the Lord himself and to show our goodwill. We take this course so that no one should blame us about this generous gift that is being administered by us. For we aim at what is honorable, not only in the Lord's sight, but also in the sight of man. And with them we are sending our brother whom we have often tested and found earnest in many matters, but who is now more earnest than ever because of his great confidence in you. As for Titus, he is my partner and fellow worker for your benefit. And as for our brothers, they are messengers of the church, the glory of Christ. So give proof before the churches of your love 
and of our boasting about you. Here ends the reading. Canticle number 10, the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, your never-failing providence sets in order all things both in heaven and earth. Put away from us, we entreat you, all hurtful things, and give us those things which are profitable for us through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray this morning, especially for those who are um, living near and dealing with the effects of the wildfires, especially in Canada today. We pray for great rain, just the right amount of rain to come and to get these fires under control. We pray for things like air quality and um, people who wrestle with um, pre-existing conditions that make difficult air quality such a challenge. But we pray most of all that you would help us to be good stewards of the creation that you have given us to tend, um, that we might well care for um, this beautiful earth and and start to be a people who um, understand the ramifications of our decisions with this place. We pray, Lord, for the rains to come and put the fires out. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the sunshine. Take care of one another. And uh, we hope to see you at church. Thanks for praying with us.